Welcome to the Hey Taylor podcast, where ambition is a gift, not a burden, where what you desire for your life is 100% possible, and where happiness and success can coexist beautifully. In this podcast, I'm bringing you casual conversations on deep alignment, self-mastery, and high performance. Each week, my guests and I will guide you to go big with your dreams and reconnect you to your infinite potential because I believe you deserve wild happiness and success in every area of your life. On this podcast, we don't shy away from the deep topics and tough love because we know that personal development isn't about going through life. It's about growing through life. And I'm your host, Taylor Thompson. I'm a high performance strategist, business mentor, multi-passionate serial entrepreneur, soon to be author, and your breakthrough personal development bestie. Pull up your note-taking app and let's unlock your next level of happiness and success. Your highest potential is waiting. Today is a crazy quick bonus episode. I am trying something out for you guys. Let me know if you like this episode at the end of it, like send me a DM, be like, yes, Taylor, do more of these mini episodes. I'm going to keep it tight and tell you a little bit about something that's been working for me. So let's just dive right into it. This is a money attraction, quick tip that has been helping me a ton. I have been working very, very lightly over the last year on my money mindset and all basically all things, money and abundance and past money stories and limiting stories that I've been telling myself around money, the scarcity and the lack mindset when it comes around money. So I've kind of been on this journey for a year or so. And 2022 is hands down the year of financial abundance for me and really bringing in financial abundance. And I can't really do that unless I have a very healthy mindset around money and also being in that vibration and frequency of abundance and ready for more. So more on that later. If you guys want more podcast episodes around money mindset and money attraction and manifestation and all those things, let me know. I'd be happy to do more of that and bring in more experts around that. So this is really something I, like I said, I'm still experimenting with. So today I'm giving you a super quick tip. One thing that has helped me a ton that I have been able to see incredible results for is basically around celebration and money coming in and money coming out. Part of this is basically the first part is that when money comes in, it can be so easy to be excited for like a millisecond. And then we're like on to the next, right? Especially when you're a high achiever, it's like, great. I just brought in $5,000. Amazing. Okay. I'm ready for the next $5,000. Like, where is it? Like we start going searching for more and that's okay. You can be rooted in gratitude and be ready for more but it's so important to actually celebrate and feel that money coming in no matter the amount of money. So celebrate $6, like you would celebrate $6,000, right? Thank this money for coming in. (laughs) Okay. Thank you for this money. I am so grateful for this actually feel it. And I am ready for more. Okay. This is something that I say, I know that there's many different versions of this, but basically what I say, thank you so much for this money. I am so grateful and I'm ready for more. And like, like I said, actually feel it in your body and celebrate, like get excited, do a happy dance, be like, oh my gosh, I am so excited that this money came in. Okay. Esther Hicks, uh, who wrote money and the law of attraction. One of her quotes is in the vibration of appreciation, all things come to you. You don't have to make anything happen. From what you are living, amplify the things you appreciate so that it sits as the dominant vibration you are offering. And then only those things that are a vibrational match can come to you. When money comes in, celebrate it, thank it, love it. When money goes out, sometimes it can be easy to feel resentful, to feel guilty, or maybe like that money was a waste, but reframe your mindset around this and thank the money as it's going out as well, right? Find purpose in spending that money and thank it 
for going out and doing its job, right? Because when money is going out, you're either going to get a return on your investment. Maybe you're paying for something that is giving you back time or energy. You're paying for something that is keeping you safe, like, uh, electricity, rent or mortgage insurance, things like that. You're giving money to someone to bring them joy, like a gift. You're giving money to a cause or community, like maybe something or someone that needs it more than you do right now, or you're just pumping money back into the economy while getting something that you want in return, right? If you're just buying yourself something you want. So find the purpose in spending that money. Thank it as it goes out. Thank it for doing what it's doing. Okay. This mindset shift has helped so much to not feel scarce, to be excited when money comes in and to not feel scarce when it goes out. And also to be more mindful when money is going out too, because if we're just spending it willy nilly on things and we're not treating it with the care that it deserves, then it's going to be difficult for us to get more of it. If we're just going to be unintentional with it, right? It's not how the universe works. So I know this is a super quick tip. I hope this helps you. Let me know, DM me on Instagram at Hey Taylor Thompson, what you thought about this mini sode and this topic. If you have more questions, let me know. If you want more money episodes like this, let me know. I'd be so excited to make some more of them or bring somebody on. I hope you have an incredible day. Thank you for joining us this week. Before you go, make sure you subscribe to the podcast so you can receive new episodes right when they're released. And if you're enjoying this podcast, I'd love for you to leave us a review in Apple Podcasts. Reviews are one of the major ways that Apple ranks their podcast. So even though it only takes a few seconds, it really does make a huge difference. Lastly, you can head to my Instagram post today and comment your biggest takeaway from this episode so we can keep the conversation going. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you next time.